Good morning, Conflict and Courage, February 1st, Build an Ark. The devotion is from Genesis 6, verse 5 to 22. And God said unto Noah, the end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. Make thee an ark, Genesis 6, verse 13 and 14. God gave Noah the exact dimensions of the ark and explicit directions in regard to its construction in every particular. Human wisdom could not have devised such a structure of so great strength and durability. God was the designer and Noah the master builder. It was constructed like the hull of a ship that it might float upon the water, but in some respects it more nearly resembled a house. The material employed in the construction of the ark was cypress or gopher wood, which would be untouched by decay for hundreds of years. The building of this immense structure was a slow and laborious process. The race of men then living were of very great stature and possessed wonderful strength. The trees were vastly larger and far surpassing in beauty and perfect proportions anything mortals can now look upon. The wood of these trees were, was a fine grain and hard substance. In this respect, more like stone. It required much more time and labor, even of that powerful race, to prepare the timber for building than it requires in this age, this degenerate age, to prepare trees that are now growing upon the earth, even with the present weaker strength men now possess. Every piece of timber was closely fitted and every seam covered with pitch. All that men could do was done to make the work perfect. Yet, after all, God alone could preserve the building upon the angry, heaving bellows by his miraculous power. Methuselah, remember him, the oldest man that ever lived? Methuselah and his sons and grandsons lived in the time of the building of the ark. They, with some others, received instruction from Noah and assisted him in building the ark. While Noah was giving his warning message to the world, his works testified of his sincerity. It was thus that his faith was perfected and made evident. He gave the world an example of believing just what God says. All that he possessed, he invested in the ark. Every blow struck upon the ark was a witness to the people. I hope you have a great day today. Live courageously.